in the 41st millennium, humanity stands on the brink of annihilation. The galaxy's spanning imperium of man is beset on all sides by hostile aliens and threatened from within by traitors and heretics. It is an age of constant war, a new dark age, in which enlightenment is replaced by superstition, rhetoric and blind prayer. To live in such times is to be amongst untold billions, existing in the cruelest and bloodiest regime imaginable. The most powerful and dreaded of the Imperium's defenders are the Space Marines, bioengineered superhuman warriors. They are humanity's last bastion against the terror. There is no time for peace, no respite, no forgiveness. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. Across the galaxy, the Xenos threat known as the Tyranids devours everything, every world, every form of life drawn into the all-consuming maw of the hive mind. The Tyranids are more than mere creatures, they are a collective will, a single consciousness controlling an endless swarm. Adaptable, relentless, they descend upon the planets of the Imperium, leaving barren husks in their wake. Among the defenders of humanity, there are none greater than the Adeptus Astartes and among them only the most skilled and battle-hardened warriors are chosen to serve in the Death Watch, the Long Vigil. Unlike other Space Marines, the ones serving in the Death Watch are not truly a separate chapter of the Adeptus Astartes, rather they are a collection of veteran Space Marines drawn from all of the different extant chapters who serve together in the Inquisition service for a discrete period of time. To be chosen by one's chapter to serve in the lone vigil of the Death Watch is a great honor for any space marine. Only the most elite and experienced members of a chapter are ever chosen for this extremely hazardous tower of duty, the specifics of which must be kept secret by inquisitorial order and sacred oath even from a Death Watch Astartes home chapter. Team leader to squad. Box check. Repeat. Kill team leader to squad. Confirm Vox contact. We have crashed. It's from your position. Do you have the virus bomb? Damn it. Any 
side of the commander. Negative. No contact since the crash. I'm here, damn it. Kalstrasser have command. What are your orders? Transmitter must be broken. Alone, cut off from his brothers, his armor bears the scars of battle, but still he presses on. The mission has not changed, the Tyranids must be stopped. The Tyranids hunt him, relentless ever adapting. For every step forward a dozen of Xenos await, ready to strike. The Death Watch is the last line of defense against these alien horrors. Darius, brother. I will repay them ten souls. Kill team, I am at the crash site! Each battle takes its toll. His strength drains, but the hive mind does not tire. For every beast slain, another rises in its place. But the leader knows no surrender. Failure means the annihilation of all life on this world. Inserting payload. Authorization. Set course for stratospheric detonation. The rite of safeguard must be performed. Seek an authorized Magos at the command console. Locked. Activate launch systems. The rite of initialization must be performed. Seek an authorized Magos at the command console. The command console is posted at the edge of the observation platform. A Magos will attend to you shortly. Doubtful. Hasten the damn process. Seismic disruptions have occurred. Launch trajectory may have been altered. A virus bomb, their final hope. A weapon designed not to annihilate, but to thin the swarm, disrupt their numbers. The Death Watch plan to unleash it upon the atmosphere, crippling the tyranny in its advance. But fate has left our leader alone to carry out this impossible task. Titus is no ordinary warrior. He has served the Emperor for over two centuries, a former captain of the Ultramarine's second company. His name is Legend. Even now, alone on this forsaken world, he fights with the relentless dedication of an Astartes. Every strike, every bolt, a testament to his will. But even legends can fall. 
Is this the end for Titus, the hero of Ultramar, or is there still one final fight left within him? the Emperor. <clears throat> the wound was fatal. You survived only through the Rubicon surgery. We remade you. You are a Primaris now. Why? Lord Kalgar issued the command himself. Is he here? Gone. Summoned by the Primarch. I must get back to the Watch Fortress. You have been reassigned. My place is with the Death Watch. The Inquisition can find no stain on you, Titus. Accused of heresy. You have served penance in the Death Watch for almost a century. And not once have you faltered. But you will never know redemption until you have faced the judgment of your brothers. Prove yourself to us and no true absolution. What is your life? My honor is my life. What is your fate? My duty is my fate. What is your fear? My fear is to fail. What is your reward? My salvation is my reward. What is your craft? My craft is death. What is your pledge? My pledge is eternal service. Rubicon surgery has remade you as a Primaris Marine. You are now stronger, faster, and more resilient. You will take your place as an Ultramarine once more. Your brothers will know that you served in the Death Watch, but your dishonorable status as a Black Shield has been redacted from the Archives. 
Should it be discovered, there would be... questions. Lord Kalgar has offered you a second chance. Do not taint it. My lord, Lieutenant Titus reporting for duty. Have Sergeant Gadriel report to the bridge. How are your wounds? Good enough. I'll be straight with you, Titus. I have my reservations about your reinstatement. There could be questions, suspicions. I cannot afford discord among the men. Not now. You're a lieutenant now. Will that be a problem? No, Captain. Very well. We're facing a Tyranid splinter fleet. They engaged us on two planets. Avarax, a hive world, and Kadaku, which you already know. We're abandoning the latter. It's mostly Adeptus Mechanicus research facilities. We're evacuating critical assets and personnel. These defense guns are keeping the skies clear for our ships. The Tyranids have taken note. Get down there and protect those guns. Captain, you wish to see me? Sergeant, this is Lieutenant Titus. He'll be taking over command of your squad. Sir, I expect you on the ground within 30 minutes. Dismissed. Lieutenant, forgive my hesitation. I am merely surprised by this development. As am I. Sergeant Gadriel. The Absorber is ready to depart. Brother Chiron, this is Lieutenant Titus. He will be leading our squad. Is that so? Well, I shall be glad to have a commander of such experience. Is the rest of the squad ready? Already assembled on the flight deck. Good. We we'll leave immediately. served in the Death Watch. Yes. That must have been a great honor. It's a privilege to serve with you. Approaching drop zone. Let's go. See those service studs? Our lieutenant is over 200 years old. He couldn't have been born in Primaris. Mm. You're right. And now he has your command.
Sir Connor, 8th Cadian Regiment. Major, give me an update. The wretched beasts have taken the orbital guns. They pushed us back to this encampment and are staging a heavy assault. Illyrio, take Altarius and Elion and remain here to secure the encampment. Yes, brother. Major, we must reach the defense guns. Yes, my lord. Follow me. The situation here has deteriorated. Those foul gargoyles pollute the skies. Tyranets have the orbital guns. They do. These unrelenting attacks make a counteroffensive difficult. We shall take care of that. Reborn in haste, Titus returns to the fight as a Primaris Marine. His first mission is clear, to assist the Astra Militarum in their evacuation. But the goal is not only evacuation, they need to do as much damage as possible to the Hive Mind. a hole in those hive ships so big you can fly a frigate through it it won't let that happen without a fight it's the hive mind the tyranid's powerful collective intelligence not to be underestimated major the guns are in a zero state of charge it will take time to wake the machine spirit hurry the tyranids will throw everything they have at this facility This is Major Sarkana. Divert 2nd and 3rd platoon to the orbital guns immediately. Copy that, sir. Let's show these bastards what the 8th are made of! <laughs>
his next task to seize control of a critical facility from the Gilans. My troops are in defensive positions. They are hot. The enemy will try to scale these walls. Do not let them. I have no chance to. Sinos never stop. They are legion, they adapt, they evolve. His final objective is clear. Clear the antenna arrays, disrupt the tyrannid hive mind, and bring destruction upon them. Lieutenant, Captain Akaran has new orders for you. Very well. Where is Elliot? The enemy tried to smother us. We got separated. By the time we had slain the attackers, Elian was dead. Something put a hole clean through his helmet. I should have been with you. I only wish he had lived to see that hive ship burn. I fought beside Elian for two decades. He could not have been defeated by Hormigans. There are creatures more deadly than Hormigans down there. You should not have let our squad be divided. He is gone, Sergeant. Duty is always. I do not forget my brothers so quickly. I want a scout recon in that position. Captain! Get over here! Captain! I have the Mechanicus on Vox. They can wait! This is Nozick Beta-12, a Mechanicus Archmagos. He should have been aboard this ship an hour ago, but he refuses to leave Kodaku without some data from his lab. He's currently in this Imperial Guard base. His facility is here. The enemy is closing in. That base will be overrun imminently. Nozick is a high-value asset. Get that data and get him out. The mining facility. If we rupture the staging tanks, direct the flow into the valley. We can ignite the fields around the base. Boil them in Prometheum. I'll give you command of a small team to hit the staging tanks. Three men. That's all I can spare. Brief them immediately. Yes, Captain. Retrieve Mechanicus data. We are Astartes. Titus Delirio, make ready to depart. Standing by. Well, well. Lieutenant Titus. We are told you have need of us, brother. 
My squad must recover data from a Mechanicus research facility in Sector 41A. A large enemy swarm threatens to overrun both that facility and an Imperial Guard base to its east. You will sabotage a Prometheum refinery to delay their advance. We will not fail you, Lieutenant. Let us burn the Xenos filth. Time is short. I will brief you on descent. Brother, Magos Gallio wishes to see you in the armory. Noted. This is a fix. I have no confidence. Wait some time, Titus. You requested my presence. How are you acclimating to your new status? I have no complaints. Intriguing. Predictions would determine a point nine probability that you would. I have pressing duties, Magos. Very well. This armory is comprehensive. But available options are those recommended for the current mission. Very well. My thanks, Magos. Galio will suffice. We know each other well enough for that. So soon. I hear the first company join us. Brother Titus, you leave on a mission of vital importance. The battlefield below leaves no room for the slightest error of judgment. I am of a clear mind and purpose. May the directives of our beloved Primarch guide your every action. I shall follow your progress closely. I will reflect on your words, Chaplain. But for now, duty calls. second unit working on a theoretical that should buy you some time. My lord! I've lost three squads trying to reach that lab. We think something's out there. No, dear. The Emperor protects. We will never get this planet stench out of our armor. Compared to your usual aura, it is an improvement, brother. Deeply amusing. Ready. Come and taste death, vermin. Major Sarkana, you were correct. 
There was a lictor out here. I suspect you have already dealt with it. Indeed. It will not trouble you again. Very good, my lord. The lictor is a capable foe. A welcome challenge. Were the lieutenant not with us, I fear we would have joined Cordanus and Septimus. Perhaps they faced more than one. No. Lictors hunt alone. The facility is in ruin. Let us hope Nozick's research remains intact. Archmagos, we have arrived. Magos. Statement error. Insults. I engage in pure analysis. Locate primary transmitter. Coordinates inbound. I have had more pleasant conversations with orcs. Brother, they got inside his armor. He deserved better. This pyroblaster will serve us well against Rippers. Gavriel to resilient. Brother Decius has fallen. Received. Location marked for Apothecary. Our brother's sacrifice will be remembered. Ah! Rippers, here they come. Raise weapons only. Keep them back at the Pyre Blaster while we thin their numbers. Do not get too close. Special tech, they are regathering themselves. Magos, proceed. Connecting to systems. Emphasize. Maintain several translation. In other words, do not move. Sarkana, please escort Nozick to the Thunderhawk and get him off world. Yes, my lord. With pleasure. I shall be glad to be rid of these trivial duties. As I will be glad to cease the flapping of this repugnant flesh voice. Time to go. Confirm receipt of data stream. This is Lirio. Transmission received. No. 
Kozak is on the Thunderhawk. Standing by. Get him out of here. Yes, sir. Major Sarkhan, what's your status? We've lost a lot of men, a lot of heavy loads, but we're still in the fight. We're coming to you now. Kozak, they hit. Lirio, do you read me? Major, did you see what happened? No idea! We saw no impact! That is territory claimed by the swarms. We need to reach him. Fast. There was an armoring chamber below. Jump packs. Sir! The guardsmen. With respect, my lords! We're Cadians! We can take care of ourselves! is withholding something. Akaran will not deceive us, Gadriel. Then where did Demetria Titus serve previously? And why is he back in battle so soon after such grievous surgery? Sergeant Venti had spoke. Lieutenant. Brother, are you recovered? I am. The apothecary should run a diagnostic. I do not have the need nor the time for such a process. 
Magos Gallio also expressed his concern. Consider his counsel, if not ours. If there is any risk of recurrence, it puts the whole squad in jeopardy. It can wait. With our bodies, our blood, and our searing wrath. Our very life force is a gift from him, and we shall use it to serve him only by the machine cult. The fault is theirs. Their own reports suggested engine failure. Brother, it is a relief to see you on your feet. Heard you took a time for the worse. Such reports were exaggerated. I am glad to hear it. Your efforts in delaying the swarm were admirable. It was a sight to behold, brother. I must report to Agaran. Excuse me. The Emperor protects. What in damnation happened down there? Nozick was assassinated. The Adeptus Mechanicus report said engine failure. That's not what I saw. Sergeant. Traitors. Chaos. You're sure? No mistaking it, sir. Clear the bridge! Nozick was head of a highly classified project. Aurora. What is it? A weapon. And the minions of Chaos learned of its existence. With Nozick dead, there's only one man capable of continuing the work. Morius Luz. Nozick's apprentice. He is currently missing. His last known location was a Mechanicus facility on Avarax, one that is now overrun with Tyranids. This will get you into the cogitator within the facility. You can access Luz's tracker from there. We are on course to Avarax now. I want you ready the second we enter orbit. Sir. What was on the ship with Nozick? What concern is of yours? The Mechanicus seemed eager to retrieve it. And yet the enemy left it untouched. Whatever it is, without Luz, it's useless to us. I expect the greatest battle is yet to come. Titus, I heard that you collapsed upon encountering the tainted wreckage. I am concerned. A mere side effect of the surgery. I am fully recovered. Sergeant Gadriel, I trust that you will be close at hand should your brother suffer any further episodes. Yes, Brother Chaplin. If the Arch Enemy is indeed present, any weakness could grow into a cancer of the soul. Bind yourself to the pages of the Codex, and it will shield you from the glare of heresy. My faith is without compromise. I will not waver. Thank you. Thank you. I heard of your incident on Kadaku. I am greatly concerned. It was brief. Likely a result of the surgery. You suffered catastrophic damage to a number of primary organs at the hand of that carnifex. While in that state, you underwent radical surgery. Your body was ripped open from head to foot. If some error was made and remains undetected, it could cost you your life. Brother, we cannot afford another episode like that. The apothecaries may not have time for a thorough diagnostic, but they've given me their sanction to do so. Now settle in. This will take time. Your biometrics are below peak, but well within the tolerances for combat. I can find no explanation for the symptoms you experienced. Then I have duties to attend to. You have the blessings of the Omnisire. One question. What do you know about Archmagos Nozick's research? 
Such knowledge would only grace the peaks of Olympus Mons. I am certainly not privy to the subject of his activities. I only pray there remain records of his discoveries. within that spire. There's the cargo elevator. Look at all those spores. That'll be one hell of a fight. Shame to miss it. We should be down there with the rest of the company. We will be soon enough. If the arch enemy is involved, might we not encounter them here? I hope we do. I wish to have words with those traitors. My blood rages at the thought of them. They'll be counting on your hatred. Be sure they don't use it against you. <clears throat> Those vile creatures taint every crevice. How far to the cogitator? With no direct route. But take longer than I'd like. They're plotting something. What plotting could these insects be capable of? These are mere drones. Then what guides them? A worthy adversary. More tyrannid filth. Plague. Staining worlds with their very faces. Through the main hub, then we're at the data banks. Expect heavy resistance. They wish to interfere with our objective. Our objective is of no concern to them. Their only wish is to kill us. are constantly evolving their forces, many different species of the Carnifex exist. However, all Carnifex share common characteristics. They are very large creatures, standing significantly larger than men, they have a thick carapace, which provides excellent protection from damage, and they frequently use some of the bioweaponry utilized by the Tyranids. They are comparable to the Space Marine Dreadnought and Orc Kilakan in tactical use. <laughs> Is in shambles. Let us hope the data center is intact. Can we access Luz's tracking data from another system? Apparently not. It's this or nothing. What manner of research could justify such a waste of human life? It does not surprise me. The Adeptus Mechanicus so willingly make monsters of themselves. Function inoperable. Adjust pathing. Xenos! They have us boxed in! A mistake they will soon regret. The 
no sign of the arch enemy. Maybe they've been and gone. Maybe they're not involved after all. Stick to what you know, brother. I'm merely observing the data, as I am taught to do by the Codex Astartes. A Volkite reactor, still running. Let's hope the machine spirit has it under control. A meltdown will be catastrophic. We'll disable it once we have the data. Lieutenant Titus, Ultramarines, Second Company. Enter your command. Locate Marius Luz. Access denied. Access rights granted. Establishing locus. Abarax. The city. Temple of Thassian. Vitals are elevated. Our box for a Thunderhawk. Wait. Open file project, Aurora. Register intention and requisition. Open the file. Open file reconstruction. Brother, those are classified. Destroyed. Mechanicus falls. Display current location of artifact. Warning. Volkite reactor unstable. Meltdown imminent. This whole place will collapse onto the city beneath us. Get them off the core! Sign of Tyranids. The smell of burnt Icor is enough. We have what we came for. Move to the extraction zone. Lieutenant. What did you see in those Mechanicus files? A record of extreme foolishness. Explain. You may direct that request to our captain. Give me a tactical overlay of the city. Captain! A minute. The Adeptus Mechanicus must be stopped. What? If they trigger the weapon, the results could be catastrophic. And what makes you suddenly an expert? Research. They're using an artifact to power the weapon. I've seen it before, on a planet named Gryar. A traitor by the name of Nemroth called it a fragment of the Dark God's power. It almost destroyed the planet. Gryar. Titus, the Mechanicus are acting on orders approved by the Primarch. 
And here are you, talking of Grya, of all places. Damn it, Captain. If chaos is here, if they get their hands on this thing... Enough! I will hear no more on the subject. Now, did you get a location for Luz? Aye, sir. Then get down there and find him! There are those who would see you sent back to the Inquisition. Tread carefully, brother. Look! Time to go. Attention. I will not concede another loss to our enemies. enemies. Brother, you seem troubled. I tire of reckless fools. I hope you do not mean us. Not unless you worship the Omnisire. Ah, then I share your distaste. Approaching landing is up. The temple is located inside the dome section of the city. We'll have to land outside and make our approach. Yeah, of Jove. Report. Minor damage. Tech team is inbound. Can we depend on you for extraction? Yes, Lord. We will be there. Very good, brother. The Emperor protects. Make haste. We have considerable ground to... What was that? Looks like a Eurothrope. Placed on Overwatch inside that building. Nothing gets across with that beast up there. What are we up against? It has its rear covered and we do not have the manpower to break through. The Cadians are holding the bridge. At great cost. Set up assault positions by the bridge. We'll deal with the Neurothrope. Very well. We will avenge them, brother. Watch yourself.
one last hero to open the gate. Victory is ours, brothers. Morales, this is Titus. Your men are clear to take the bridge. By the Primarch, I had little faith I would hear from you again. Will you be joining the assault? Our path leads to the dome. This report. Damage is worse than I thought. Tech priests are working on it now. Keep me updated. Brothers, let us proceed. Tadians are driving the Tyranids back. The Xenos cowards walk in a fair fight. Need a ride, brothers. Sergeant, good to see you. The Cadians have the bridge under control. Thought you could use an extra hand. A welcome offer. Climb on. The temple is this way. Lieutenant, the Cadians are requesting support. Go. Thank you, brother. Ultramarines! Have the enemy infiltrated the dome? No, my lord. What about the Temple of Thassian? The dome was evacuated days ago. Rejoin the main force immediately. Our orders are to remain here. On whose authority? Captain Fairburn. We are to hold this position until further notice. The dome is empty. Now move on. But, sire... I gave you an order. Forgive me, my lord. Perhaps there was a communication error. The captain insisted. The deserters. No, no, no. We have our orders. Box your captain. If you are deserters, I'll execute you myself. Captain Fairburn, come in. Captain Fairburn, come in. Ambush! Thousand Sons are one of the traitor legions of Chaos Space Marines who are sworn solely to the service of Zinch, the Chaos God of Change, Intrigue and Sorcery. Though they were once the Imperium of Man's 15th Legion of Space Marines, the main feature that distinguishes the Thousand Sons from the other traitor legions is the sheer number of psychic mutations that have always existed amongst the Space Marines in this legion. Every current member of the Legion possesses psycho abilities and they prefer to use Chaos Sorcerers and Guide in combat, relying on their psychic powers and sorcerer's knowledge to earn them victory. As a result of an ancient spell known as the Rubric of Ariman that was cast soon after the Thousand Suns fell from their homeworld of Prospero, during the early days of the Horus Heresy, every Thousand Suns Astartes that lacked psychic powers had his soul fused directly into his power armor. The Thousand Suns have become living embodiments of sorcery, animated by the power of chaos and the will of the Lord of Change. The Thousand Suns are the science of the Primarch Magnus the Red, the copper skin Cyclops, whose thirst for knowledge in all its forms led ultimately to damnation and an eternity of servitude to Jinch, the chaos god known as the Changer of the Ways. Titus to Captain Akaran. Akaran here. We were just attacked by the forces of chaos. You're certain? No doubt. Heretic Astartes and their minions. Throne, damn it! Do you have loose? 
Negative. We're minutes away. Find him and get him out of there. Hurry! What are we waiting for? Sergeant, check the perimeter. Yes, brother. Explain yourself. Need I justify my hatred? You need justify your recklessness. The traitors have a debt to me. And you will throw away your life to collect? Death is my duty! Your duty is to the Emperor. You will die when and where he so chooses, not over some personal vendetta. Do you understand? Lieutenant, you should see this. some kind of shield. The altars. Same ones we encountered earlier. They must generate the shield. Destroy them. Then purge these abominations from the face of this world. Titus, the Lance of Jove, status report. They are patched up and on their way. See you at the objective. The Emperor protects. Lance of Jove, stand by for extraction. Affirmative. In the name of the Emperor, open the doors! Mori is loose. I owe you my existence. Come with us. To where? The battle barge. Compliance, but I must speak with Archmagus Nozick at once. He's dead. Dead? You are to replace him. Uh, Lose.
power source. It's dangerous. I have spent my life studying it. I assure you it's quite safe. In the right hands. Arrogance. Arrogance. Why must the Mechanicus meddle with the unknown? We follow the will of the Omnisire. Go ahead. Titus, report to Captain Akaran immediately on arrival. Confirmed. Titus? A Captain Titus was killed on the Forge World of Graia over a century ago. He died holding the power source in his hands. Not even an Astartes could survive power of that magnitude. Morius Luz, come with me. Must report to Captain Akaran. Plug those Promethean links immediately. I will need a repair crew before my next flight. Every small task is the orientation of glory. What was that between you and Luz? Irrelevant. I disagree. That is your right. Brother, we only want to help you. Help! You almost cost us the mission, and now you speak of help! Lord! Heretic Astartes. They're showing up in every hive city on Avarax. We're already overstretched by the Tyranids. The traitors have us off guard. The Adeptus Mechanicus tell me Aurora is ready. They say the weapon will work, sir. I know your concerns, Titus, but we may have no choice. Can we at least warn Kalgar of the danger? Impossible. The astropathic relay on Avarax has been completely surrounded. Every attempt we've made to break through the Tyranid lines has failed. Can we Vox a message in? There's a dead zone around the relay. Something's interfering with our Vox comms. We have to get inside. Emperor, save me. I've tried. Now the Tyranids have launched an attack on our defenses. We're pulling back to the fortress. We'll make our final stand there. Battlefield projection. Magnify C3. Where are you? There. The Hive Tyrant. We've had no reports. It's there. We kill it. We break the synaptic connection. It scatter like rats. A hive tyrant. A worthy adversary. And if you're wrong, if it's not there, I cannot afford to throw men after a hunch. Give me two squads. Two squads? We need to kill the hive tyrant, find whoever is jamming us, and get the message inside the relay. Six men. That's all I can spare. Use them wisely. Thank you. The Emperor protects. If the chaplain wishes to see you because of my transgressions, I will take full responsibility. I gave no report. I have yet to decide if you require formal penance. Titus, the captain has put great me, faith brother. in you with this mission. Should you reach the relay, your message to Lord Kalgar may determine the course of this war. Choose your words wisely. You doubt my intentions. It is your actions I will judge. I need not remind you of the consequences you suffered the last time. If you cannot trust in the will of the Primarch, then you are unfit for this duty. Lieutenant, the squad is ready. We are yours to command, Lieutenant. The astropathic relay on Avarax is under direct assault. If it falls, so do our hopes of reinforcement. We will engage in a three-point operation to break the Xenos command. 
Restore Vox and secure the relay. We will not fail you. Not one of us can afford to fail this day. Prepare for deployment. I will transmit mission details on descent. Should be us facing the Hive Tyrant. Talasa can handle it. They have three men. We should be with them, but you have us playing courier. That message has to get through. And what exactly is that message? Speak your mind, brother. I searched the archives. You were once captain of the second company, and then you disappeared. Over a century ago, I was serving with the Death Watch. There would be records. Not for a Black Shield. A Black Shield? You would erase your chapter markings. I would die for these colors. Then why? I was accused. It was my penance. What were you accused of? Corruption. Brace for landing. Move out. Delta wing, box check. has landed, and soon a tyrant will fall. Acknowledged. Proceeding to relay. Maintain Vox reports. Damocles out. The Astropath relay is four miles from here. Expect heavy Tyranid presence. What of the arch enemy? Sporadic reports, but they are here. Men of honor, do we fear the vile Xenos that hammer at our doors? fearsome, tenacious, and relentless bloody men and women that ever crossed the stars! <laughs> Kenya, our home, lies scattered across the stars, but do we relent? No, sir! No! For we are vengeance, and we shall bring death to any that threaten the sacred soil of the Imperium. Ah! You will give your life in the name of our Holy Emperor! Sir, yes, sir! Will you give your life in the name of all that is good and pure? In the name of our Holy Emperor? Sir, yes, sir! Take up the Canadian standard and hold it high so that the enemy will know the name of their executioners! Cowards! Arcadia! You are a boil of the pride of Arcadia! You have disgraced yourselves Arcadia! by abandoning your brothers! I beg punishment! Please destroy my cowards! Squad! Ready? Aim! Fire!
Watch your tongue, guardsman. My lord, forgive me. Then train the Vox Blackout, Damocles. Understood. Damocles out. Side. Seal the gates behind us. Yes, my lord. Close the gates! The relay is at sports! Engage! Now. We'll need to clear this debris. and regroup with the main force. Tides is to resilient. Requesting Gamma Pat and Hammerfall bunker on my location immediately. You mean to jump? Request confirmed. Stand by. There's our entry. That's quite a shot. Damocles to Delassa. Report. If Talassa fails to take out the Hive Tyrant, then our little excursion was all for naught. with the main force. Why toil in obscurity when there's glory center stage? Hey, Sergeant. Our brothers are dying while we sneak around in the shadows. If we fail to send this message, we face a massacre. Lieutenant said it himself. There's deception at work. If you've got something to say, Sergeant.
stocking. Brilliant. Do you read? Foot. The enemy have breached our lines. Talasa has failed. Lieutenant, what are your orders? We fight. Tyrant was controlling these underlings via synaptic link. The turmoil you now see among the enemy can mean only one thing. The Hive Tyrant is dead. Viridian here. If you can hear this, Damocles, we've got the bastards. Excellent work, brother. Any contact with Talassa? Talassa to Damocles. The alien contaminates our world no longer. message from Marnius Kalgar. I cannot help you. It's urgent. In addition to the shadow cast in the warp by the Tyranids, demonic forces are now poised to attack anyone who opens their minds to the warp. You would flee from your duty. I would have you know. <laughs> Give me your message. Let us begin. My lady, I must protest. The danger is too great. Silence. There are no guarantees. What I 
have you done? Titus. Chaos forces have been detected entering the system. They are going after Aurora. We are leaving for Demerium immediately. How did you know? I was a boy on Kalf when the word bearers attacked. I came to know the mark of Chaos. We're returning to the battle barge. I understand your actions, but your suspicions end here. Are we clear? Yes, sir. In the last few hours, traitor forces have arrived in their hundreds and commandeered the facility. Commandeered? Where is Luz? Inside. They have the facility, Luz, and the power source. Holy terror. Perhaps you were right, Titus. What's our theoretical? We've diverted all available forces to the Merium, but we're well below full strength. We've prepared an assault, but it has little chance of success, unless we take care of this. They're using it to draw in reinforcements. For every one of them we kill, two more show up in their place. It's heavily guarded. I'll need a combat squad, five men. I can spare three men. Next, the enemy seem to be drawing their power from this structure. What is it? We don't know. Every attempt to bring it down has failed. Your squad has developed a reputation for unconventional approaches. Any ideas? I've read of Demeria. It's a burial world. 4,000 years ago, there was a clash between the Ultramarines and the Heretics. The Sword of Atreus, a battle barge wrecked in the fighting, was laid to rest here. What of it? Records state that while its body was ruined, its engines burned bright, even as it was interred. It may not fly, but it might ram. A long shot to say the least. Worth a try. Very well then. Navigation systems are probably dead. We can't afford to miss. He's right. Someone will need to get close to the target and place a beacon. Our offensive launches in 90 minutes. The Emperor guide you, brothers. And you, sir. Titus, I am troubled by a report I have received from the Astra Telepathica. An accusation of heresy. Her voice was puppeted by her. The lieutenant will answer. The psycho was possessed. Your sergeant believed otherwise. I was mistaken. You attempted to incapacitate your lieutenant. Thank the Emperor, I failed. And now, the only individual capable of reaching Lord Kelgar is dead. By your hands. I will be watching all of you. Should I suspect even a flicker of corruption, 
I will not hesitate as you did. You are dismissed. The rest of us will move to clear the reliquaries around the basin and establish a beachhead. We are facing overwhelming enemy numbers on Demerium. But the heretic filth down there have stirred the wrath of the Second Company. We will inflict upon the traitors such agony, the likes of which they have not seen since the burning of Prospero. They will suffer, they will break, and they will fall. Sons of Gilliman, for the glory of Ultramar! For the glory of Ultramar! Brothers, our captain's words need no further embellishment. I will speak only of practical concerns. The heretics will employ absolute deception. You will be assaulted by lies and illusion. The only true ground you will find down there will be each other. Trust only your brothers and your instincts. Now go forth and lay waste to our enemies. For the Emperor! this before you mean drop through an active combat zone dodging flak enemy ships and burning wreckage on the way down exactly no this will be a first the codex astartes does not support this action but i am looking forward to it stay close it's almost impossible to regroup if we're separated 60 seconds helmets Sir! I must apologize for my actions on other house. Unnecessary. I fell prey to suspicion. Almost killed you. When I was a young captain, one of my men questioned my motives, brushed his concerns aside, and I paid the price. Your suspicions arose because I failed to answer your doubts. Stand by for suborbital drop. I'm honored to fight beside you both. As are we, brother. You grew up on Kalf. Let's say we settle some of that debt today. Why, sir? Focus. Destroy this whole area. Wait. 
It is slowing down. Heretic sorcery. No doubt. But it will get us to our objective. It is probably a trap. Time is limited. We must take the risk. Move on to the cathedral. Targeting signal now. Your signal barely registers, but I read it. Your data is clouded, Lieutenant. Maintain close proximity to target. Dig in. If we are pushed back, the Atreus will miss its target. <laughs> Tricks. What was like said the traitor Nemeron. Do you believe it? He certainly did. You said it was destroyed. Apparently not well enough. That damnable Archmagos. If it truly is tainted with corruption, then we must destroy it permanently. Agreed. Entering quarantine zone. Decontamination required. Initiate biological purgation within the chamber. Microbial index 1.2%. Initiating sterilization. Barely a sign of life on this world. It is a burial wild brother. Reserved for the dead. Microbial index reduced to 0.01%. It is safe to proceed. Safe. Interesting choice of words. Pity this chamber cannot remove corruption. That duty is ours.
go ahead. There is no damnation dark enough for these traitors. Have faith, brother. We will send them to one fitting. for the real thing. I tire of chasing this bastard's phantom. Why install Aurora deep within these ruins? Perhaps it was already here. How? A relic from the dark age of technology. This is heresy. Throne of terror. What is this? A tomb world. You have seen one before. Only the mechanical horrors that spill forth from such a place. The Martians have preserved everything. This place should have been obliterated upon discovery. Listen as I crush your pathetic man machine. <laughs> Lieutenant Titus, praise the Omnisire. In just a few minutes, you will bear witness to- You must stop this! Sire, please. I know you have concerns, but look. This is merely a taste of what the device is capable of. And I have seen the worst of what it can do. My lord, you, you must trust me. This has, has been my quest for knowledge. M my life's work. Shut it down. Now. I will not. Forgive me, Lord. Time will reveal the purity of my intentions. <laughs> you tiny grains of sand, prattling as you tongue. For a moment it seems you might do my work for me. But alas, I must finish this myself. Witness true power! Thing. Enough of these childish games! The 
Let us put a stop to them once and for all! Titus to Acheron. Do you read me? Damn it. How could that fool lose not have known? He took the whisperings of that sorcerer to be his own inspiration. Luce was merely a pawn. They killed Nozick. Led us to believe they would do the same to Luce. So we would deliver him precisely where they wanted him. And that spectacle in the catacombs. Deceit to trick that puppet Luz into finishing the work. This is worse than I could have imagined. That pillar floods the land with corruption. Titus to Acheron, come in! Fox is useless. We must find our brothers. Cadians! They are broken. Out! Out! There's that monstrous obelisk. The strings of silent wail of corruption. Their human minds were not prepared for malign energies of this magnitude. Few are. Should we show them mercy? We must leave that to the Commissariat. We have more pressing duties. I'm receiving a coded locator signal. Akaran signature. Not far from here. Can we trust it? I believe so. Mark it on all specs. Yes, brother. to stop Luz. I can see that. He was tainted. An unwitting puppet of the arch enemy. We are now facing a warp rift the size of a small cruiser. Three volleys from the resilient and not a scratch on that pillar. If it has a weakness, I need to know what it is. It is powered by the artifact from Briar. If we can destroy that... Where is it? 
We do not know. You call that a solution? What is the alternative? There is a field around the pillar, impenetrable to our ordnance. We have observed their forces passing through it on foot. We must get close enough to see if we can do the same. Proceed through those doors. We make our assault eminently. Our forces are divided in two. I will lead the main assault from the Temple of Aethor. I sent two squads to move on the enemy's flank, but we have lost contact with them. They are carrying the company standard. If they have fallen, we will retrieve it, Captain. Ultramarines, ready! maintain these graves, even in the midst of this war. Their devotion is commendable. We must hurry. Our brothers pay in blood for every second we delay. They should be on the other side of that door. Brother! The standard! It lies crumpled in the dirt like a rag! Lieutenant, what are your orders? We fight! Second Company! We hold this ground in the name of the Primer! If we die, we die with vengeance on our lips! Get up, Zarius! My leg is gone, brother! Cover him! Formation! Man, you treacherous scum! Darius! He has fallen! Treacherous! There is no end to them! There is! Or we shall find it! The central obelisk appears to be the source of their power. It's protected by an energy field. Give me a solution. We've hit that shield with everything we've got. Nothing gets through. My lord! There may be a way. 
In the catacombs, Lou said all it took was a transference of alignment. And then he inverted something. An object. What of it? It was identical to that obelisk. You want to invert that? Explain. The Aurora device might have a weakness. Might? Chapter Master. We cannot stay here. Lieutenant, you stand by Sergeant Gadriel's assessment. I do. Captain Agaran, muster your company. Aye, Chapter Master. Brothers! The heretics clamor for a taste of victory! But we will defy them this day, as we have defied them for ten millennia! We are the sons of Ultramar, servants to the Emperor and guardians of the Imperium. Let these wretches feel the wrath of ancient vengeance! We will handle the last one. I'll get them moving. Brief them over the Vox. Yes, Captain. That colossal demon hounds our forces. What exactly are we doing with these obelisks? The Aurora device opens a rift to the Immaterium, a gateway. These smaller obelisks appear to be the keys to that gate. We turn the keys and lock the gate. Exactly. Oh, 
thousand sons lost their hell boot. Titus, Desmus has a hold on the Obelisk controls. Throne, that looks like torture. But he is holding fast. Yes, my lord. was a trap. Perhaps. Is this... the Immaterium? If it is, we must move quickly. To where? We must find Kalgar. The dangerous will is inescapable. Even now we walk upon ancient paths laid out for us before the first mortal true breath. Final duties. Now, brothers, I hear them. Do not trust your senses. Lord Kalgar left you to rot in the Death Watch for a century, Brother Titus. Coward! He's cowering behind illusions. Make a bulwark of your hatred, brothers. Where is 
heretic! You die this day! This is my domain! You are here by my invitation! I am offering you a chance to kneel! Our chapter, sir, shall use your skull as a piss pot! this heretic. One last dance before the strings are cut. Only step in the head of your body. Is happening. We should investigate. Watch your step. Lord Kalka! What will be another illusion? Lord Kalga! My words to you on Talasar. Speak them. My lord! Speak them, or be slain for an imposter. Rules should never make a prisoner of intelligence. Titus, it is good to see you. Their sorcerer's power wavers. He is vulnerable. See how his domain weakens as he does. There is only one place left for him to hide. Let us dig out the heretic. We have it! There! Within the energy stream! He prepares for another attack! It is the artifact! It must be! There is almost limitless power within that shard! Then we must make explosions! Fools! They have perfection! 
Destruction in their cross, but squandered it in blind ignorance. Brother, it is over. You did it. Brother! Demetrian Titus, your decisive actions have saved this system from ruin. And so it is with great pride that I now present you with an honor worthy of your deeds. The Laurels of Victory. Let every warrior of the Adeptus Astartes see that here stands the true measure of a son of Gilliman. For the glory of Ultramar! Courage and honor! Company dismissed. Forgive me, brother, that it took me so long to bring you home. My lord, that is... Fierce was my wrath when I learned of your detention. In their arrogant suspicion, the Inquisition failed to recognize the truth. That no evil will ever overcome a devotion such as yours. Thank you, my lord. There is a mission. It will take you away from the second company for a time. As you command, chapter master. The brother chaplain will brief you.
It was he that suggested you for the task. My lord, the sword of Kalth is ready to depart. Thank you, Captain. My ship will convey you to your destination. I shall be glad of your company. Titus, it has been an honor. It has indeed, my captain. I hear you'll be taking your leave of us. Not for too long, I hope. Emperor guide you. And you, sir. Brothers, I am called to serve elsewhere. You'll be missed, my lord. I will not forget the blood we have drawn together. Nor shall we. I owe you both a debt. You have restored my faith in brotherhood. We shall await your return. Courage and honor. Courage and honor. Titus. Lord Kalgar has informed you of your assignment. Good. I will brief you en route. You are joining us. I am. Very good, my lord. You have done well. You have won the trust of your brothers. And of the chapter master. But know this, Titus. The stain of suspicion never completely fades. I will be watching you. Should you falter on the path for even a moment. I will show no mercy. Leandros. My lord, it is time. <laughs> 